Right, so today I wanna to test this AI content generation tool against ChatGPT. Now, before I do so, I'm gonna show you how this one works. So essentially with this generator tool, you get a featured image, a interactive table of contents with internal links um, in article videos. So for example, this video is not only just relevant to what the article is about as a whole, but also relevant to this subsection right here. External links, in article images, uh, more in article images, more links, more links here. And tables, of course, we also include tables and bullets when it makes sense. And as I said, essentially, an article right here, this article has multiple features, has a featured image, has a table of contents, has internal links, so linking out to other pages on your site, uh, has external links, so linking out to other authority sources in your niche. For example, if this was an article about finance, we'd be linking out to Bloomberg, maybe, Investopedia, uh, TechCrunch, all those. In article videos, of course, they are relevant to what the article is about. In article images, bullets, um, tables and a call to action to your offer, your product or service. Down here at the bottom, we always add a call to action to your product or service. In this case, it is a gardening uh, niche. So we link out to their gardening uh, site or we could have linked out to their Shopify store or a specific product in their uh, store, right? So all this again, AI generated. The cool thing about this is just you can go here and publish everyone to their to in your integrations. So one by one, you can publish these to in your integrations or publish all two integration at the, at the same time. So publish all three or three. And by the way, your integrations can be wherever you want. So it could be your WordPress site, your Shopify store, Ghost, Weeks, Webflow, Blogger, Zapier, or even an external API if you'd like, right? So let's compare this against um, the, generative process, uh, the generative capabilities of, of ChatGPT. So we go here to ChatGPT. Let's just log in real quick, continue. And let's tell him to try and generate an article similar to the one that I generated here. So eight tips for starting a garden as newbie, right? So first things first is giving it the prompt. So I want you to generate an in-depth article with the following title, right? I want you to make sure it's written in an informative manner, because again, we want the content to be written in our brand's voice, right? So this isn't just some randomly ChatGPT written content, right? All this right here is generated based on the brand. The brand in this case is this one, right? Which we did this test for. Um, but again, it isn't just some random AI content because journalists, what it does real quick here as a tangent is it connects with your brand, right? So your brand has multiple assets, right? Your asset could be your YouTube channel, your brand's blog, your brand's Twitter account, your brand's Pinterest, maybe some documents, right? Support documents you have. Maybe all this is uploaded online. Maybe you have some private stuff. So all these are brand's assets, right? And again, your brand is made out of assets and you as a brand owner, as a brand founder, know about this, right? You know about your brand more than anyone else. But the good thing about Journalist AI is that it connects with your brand. So now Journalist AI knows as much as you do about your brand so it can produce brand tailored content. So content in your brand's voice, using your brand's mannerisms, using your brand's images. So all of this done with uh, AI. Now, ChatGPT doesn't really do this, so we'll have to tell it manually. So again, I want you to make sure it's written in an informative manner according to the content that, that we have on our uh, blog. And then I just go here and then just paste in here the site. Right, so to have, to have this done, you need to have ChatGPT Premium so you can browse the blog. Um, and let's just do, let's see how many sections we have here. Uh, one, two, oh, so one, two, three, four, so four. Let's do add four H2s and three H3s in each section. Um, it cannot add images, so I won't ask it to add images. Uh, so yeah, let's just do like this, right? So let's leave it be, leave it, leave it browse Bing so it understands the brand and all this. Takes a bit of time. And yeah, let's then compare it to uh, what Journalist AI does. Now again, the, the issue with this is that even if the content is great, it's never gonna be very brand tailored. We're gonna have to do a lot of iterations here. Plus, like I said before, the content with Journalist AI has a featured image, has a table of contents, has in-article images, in-article videos, internal links, external links, all, all this automatically, by the way. It's gonna in link out to your other blog pages automatically, right? Um, I'll, I'll show you this in a second. So while this generates, actually, I'll, I'll can show you this. So what you can do with, with Journalist AI here is you set up an auto blog, right? And what an auto blog does is essentially you're connecting Journalist AI with your blog, right? Your blog could be, again, your WordPress site, Shopify store, Ghost, Weeks, Blog, or whatever. And it's gonna be producing on autopilot 
blog posts every single day, right? These are individual blog posts, right? Which if we expand on these, let me expand on one of these blog posts. This is one blog post right here. All these blog posts are gonna have a featured image, a table of contents, proper structure, right? Internal images, uh, in article images, sorry, in article videos relevant to what the content is about. Internal links, so linking out to other blog posts on your site. So these blog posts will link out between each other. Maybe link out to your home, site's homepage, site con site's contact, contact us page, sorry. Also external links, so it's going to link out to external sources in your niche. So again, if this article is about finance, it's going to link out to Bloomberg, TechCrunch, and all those ones. Uh, in article tables, in article uh, bullets, and of course a call to action to your product or service, right? All this 100% automatically, and you can set the frequency here. Just go here, select the quantity, let's do 20 every single week, right? And every single week, journalist is going to take care of the generation, that's a G, then publishing of 20 blog posts every single week, right, to your blog with all of these features, right? Images, videos, internal links, external links, calls to action, bullets, all this then automatically for you. You can go a bit more aggressive, you can do 300 every single, every six hours if you'd like. Most people just do five uh, every week, but you can play around with this however you like. Um, so yeah, that's the whole power of journalists. Plus, on top of that, it also does cure research for you on autopilot and also indexes the content for you on autopilot. So yeah, I'll go over those in just a bit. Let's go over this one right here. So this is the article right here and it looks like my prompt didn't work very well because this article isn't good at all, right? Uh, maybe I should have spent a bit more time working on the prompt, but that's that's the issue, right? You have to figure out the best prompt. Maybe you already have a prompt, right? Maybe you already have a demo prompt or a template prompt, but the issue is, and of course I'm a bit biased, if you don't have a template prompt, this is gonna happen, right? And you gotta iterate and iterate and speak with it until you find, figure out the be the, the the right prompt. Even if you have the right prompt, and I, I swear I didn't do this on purpose, but even if you have the right prompt, you, don't, you won't have content like this, right? You won't have content with featured images, links automatically for you, right? Again, these articles that I just showed you right here, so if I go to any of these right here, for example, uh, this one right here, which talks about the best search spots in Algarve, if I just click it right here real quick, view, um, prior the Rocha Fisica, so this is gonna link out to an article about this beach in specific, right? And this uh, it makes sense within the context of the article. So if I just search through more right here, um, let's see here what this one is about. Understanding, deeper understanding of the culture of uh, rich culture and history of the, of the country. So it links out to an article about travel guides in Portugal. So all these external links make sense in accordance with what this article is about. So it's a surfing guide to the south of Portugal. So it makes sense that the external links link out to uh, authoritative sources that talk about whatever this anchor text links out to. Mm -hmm. On top of that, this article is going to be posted on our blog. So we want to make sure that it external links to our site, right? Also, a call to action down here, accessories, surfing accessories, going to link out to this website, that's in this case my website, that sells or rents out surfboards. And how you do this is pretty simple. Just go to generate articles, advanced mode, create preset. And I won't go over each one of these right now, but just steps four and five, internal linking, you just add your sitemap URL. And again, all the content you generate is going to automatically have internal links to other pages on your site, whether that's a blog or not. Or even with the external linking, set this up, just click a button right here automatic external linking, and again, all the content you generate is gonna have external links to authoritative sources in your niche. Again, all this isn't possible with ChatGPT, and even if it is or were, it takes a lot of time. On top of that, the image is right, it takes a lot of time, and here we give you access to using stock photos, Google license free photos, even your own brand's custom images. We give you access to two AI image models right here, DALI and Stable Diffusion. We give you access to in-article automatic videos, so we'll read through the article and add videos where it may make, where it makes sense, right? Structure, you can even add calls to action, content, you can choose the creativity levels, you can choose over 150 different languages, so if you're targeting the international markets, this is very, very good. For example, you have a Shopify store and you wanna target the Spanish market, just ask it to publish content in Spanish, right? You can choose the and change around the creativity levels, so depending on your brand's Tone of voice, you can make it more correct or factual or more creative or original. Speaking of tone of voice, you can change the tone of voice right here, more neutral, funny, informal, academic, uh, whatever you want, right? Even the point of view. So we give you a bunch of different um, tools to uh, tailor the content to your brand, right? So super, super, super powerful. And again, on top of that, we do the keyword research for you automatically. So just go to here to keyword monitors, edit right here. I want to create a new one right now. But you can see here that based on the URL and the competition, we analyze the best keywords you should be producing content for. So with low difficulty and high search volume. So just go here, select the keywords you want, and just 
let journalists generate the content for you. Again, journalist AI does the Q research for you, it generates the content for you, it publishes the content for you, and on top of that, it indexes the content for you. All this on autopilot. So that's why it is 10 times better than a tool like ChatGPT, right? Again, on top of that, forgot to mention, it is brand tailored, right? It is not just some generic AI content. It is brand tailored, your brand's mannerisms, your brand's images, your brand's tone of, tone of voice, right? It knows about your brand. Again, not just some generic AI content. So that's why it is better than ChatGPT. That's it. That's the video. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Make sure to try it out. You get three articles for free. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, just go here to the site, click this little bubble right here and tell me why you didn't like it. But I'm sure you will. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.